Hello, I'm here traveling to Japan. Today I'm here to talk about this lens that I have, the 50 millimeter 1.6 times anamorphic lens from Sure. They sent me the lens in exchange for a review, but first we're gonna watch some footage. Oh, and if you're new here, uh, my name's Dustin, your video tour guide. Please keep your arms and legs inside your chairs at all times. Sit back, relax, enjoy the video. How'd that footage look? I've actually looked at some of the footage, but it, I haven't actually edited the video yet, so hopefully it turned out pretty cool. Let me know down in the comments. Let me just go ahead and talk about some of the specs on this lens here. So it weighs about two pounds. It has a 82 millimeter filter thread. It has also a quarter 20 thread on the bottom for lens support. The minimum focus distance is 2.5 feet and an aperture of T2.9. The cost of the lens is about $1,500. And there's also three other focal length options. I think there's 35, 75, 135? I'm pretty sure that's it. And you can get the lens in a bunch of different mount options. This particular version I have right here is L mount and that footage that you watched was shot on the Lumix S5 II in 6K open gate. Oh, the lens is full frame too. I don't know if I mentioned that. Let me talk about some of the more kind of characteristics of the lens as well. Just kind of like my personal thoughts and opinions on the lens. Oh, and by the way, it's the misses. What do you think of the lens? Hold it. Like feel it. It's heavy. So for somebody that has no clue what they're doing, it's heavy. It's not that heavy. So now I want to talk about some of the things on the lens that I like. One thing in particular is the flares. I don't know what it is about like everybody else. They seem to not like the flares. They're like, eh, it's cliche and I don't like those blue flares, but I personally love them. They come in more like lighter teal. They're still pretty saturated, but then it also has like green to it and a little bit of like orangish, reddish kind of hue. So I love it. Personally, I love the flares. The next thing I want to talk about is the sharpness. The lens is extremely sharp. Whether you're wide open or you're closed, it looks amazing. Some people don't like that. I personally like having a sharp in it, image because I can always make it softer or whatever in post. Another thing that I liked that I thought I didn't like was the focus throw. It's only like, I can't remember how many degrees, but it's really short. I thought I didn't like that at first. When I was pulling focus during that little short film, I actually kind of liked it. It was, felt easier to me, even though it's more accurate with a longer focus throw. I thought it was 
just easier while I'm by myself. So it also has a 82 millimeter thread, which is really good when it comes to like budget anamorphic options, because for me, I feel like 82 millimeter is the best like ND filter thread size. And then the last thing is that it's full frame and it covers a full three by two coverage. So I think the S5 Mark II and the S5 Mark II X are kind of some of the perfect cameras to pair with the Venus. So the three by two on the 1.6 times anamorphic, I'm pretty sure it equals that perfect two by four sweet spot when you de-squeeze it in post. And that video that you watched, that was completely shot in a three by two full frame on the S5 Mark II. That's why the whole thing is shot at just normal speed because yeah, I really wanted to showcase that the lens can cover three by two. Now there's just two things that I don't like about this lens or two kind of downsides to it, at least for me. And the first one is that the squeeze does not stay consistent across the entire focus throw. It actually will de-squeeze to about like, I think it's like 1.52 or 1.51, close to 1.5. But anyways, for some people that's not that big of a deal and I think it really isn't that big of a deal, but for my preference, like some people don't like pin cushion distortion or they don't like focus breathing. None of those really bother me, but when the squeeze doesn't stay consistent, that kind of annoys me. And then the second thing, really, this is common across a lot of different anamorphics, is the minimum focus distance. Two and a half feet is actually not bad, but I just get spoiled by anamorphic lenses that can go less than two feet. Like, I feel like the sweet spot is just under two feet because I really find myself wanting to be about that far away from my subject when I'm shooting on lenses. I typically don't go closer than that, but anything like above two feet, I just feel so far away from my subject. And I realize that that can be fixed pretty easily with diopters. Like some of those shots in that film were with diopters, but it's just annoying to have to screw the diopter on and off, especially when I have an ND on there. In fact, on some of the shots, I was just holding the diopter in front of the lens so I could get the shot and then moving it after. I wasn't even screwing the diopter on. So Sure, if you make a really good solution for your lenses on putting a diopter on and off very quickly, hey, that would be sweet. I also wanted to mention that they've also got another series. This is the Saturn series from uh, Sure and it's the little like mini anamorphic and look at the size difference. I actually bought this one right when it came out because I really wanted it. I'm really excited for them to build these ones out too because I just love how small and compact they are. This one's also 1.6 times and it's full frame very similar to this lens. And I'm going to be doing a full review on this one. Now, lastly, this doesn't really have to do with Sure at all, but like what I mentioned, one of the only cameras that can take advantage of the th full three by two sensor in the budget category is like the S5 Mark II. And I love that on the S5 Mark II, you can de-squeeze the footage so you can actually kind of see, get a better idea what you're doing. It's not a 1.6 but it's a 1.5, which is close enough. Only thing that bothers me is that there's also anamorphic IBIS settings on the S5 Mark II, and it doesn't support 1.6. And it kind of annoys me because throughout that entire video that you saw, the IBIS was off. And for me, it's just, it's a little too shaky and adding in the poor rolling shutter as well on the S5 Mark II, like when I'm kind of walking and I might take a step a little too much, you can kind of see some rolling shutter and it just, it's not very pleasing. So that's something that I would just really love Lumix to add is support for 1.6 because some of the only options out there in budget anamorphic is 1.6. Like, come on, Lumix, what, Panasonic, what, what are we doing here? Come on. To kind of wrap things up about this lens, overall, I really absolutely love it. I'm so excited that these lenses are finally coming to L mount because I feel like a lot of the times these lenses, L mount is like one of the last kind of mounts that they start coming to. And you can, I believe, get these in PL mount as well, which might not be a bad option. But for me, since this is more budget, I don't really want to adapt it to other cameras. And so I'm happy with it just being an L mount. And this one as well came an L mount. They didn't make it an L mount. And I said that I would buy it at the speed of light if they offered it an L mount. And 
they started offering an L mount, so I bought it immediately. By the way, this is the neutral flare and this is the blue flare, so it'll be cool to kind of see some more comparisons there. But let me know down in the comments what you think of the lens. If you are interested in picking up any of these lenses, I will have links to them in the description. And Sure gave me a discount, and you can use Dustin 5 to save 5%, so that's pretty good actually. On like a $1,500 lens, this one's $1,200, but on like a $1,500 lens, what is that? It's like 75 bucks. That's not bad. Oh, and full disclosure, those are affiliate links, so if you purchase through there, they support me so thank you be sure to like the video and subscribe if you made it this far but until the next video though happy filming